Hello everybody and welcome to 24 days of Christmas day 13. I can't believe it's already day 13. That's just crazy to me. But today I have an exciting home tour for you guys. So I'm going to show you everything that I did around the house to decorate for Christmas this year. But I'm going to show you guys what's in the Bare Minerals box first. And I'm excited because 13 is this really long one. So I'm thinking it's either a lip product or a full size mascara. So I'm super excited. Let's see. I'll open it so you guys can see. I was so wrong. I think it's an eyeliner. Okay, it's a pen. <laughs> Yesterday was a notepad, today is a pen. So, that's what was behind door number 13, a gold pen that says Bare Minerals on it. Lexi, you wanna say hi before I give the tour? Can you say hi? Hi. She's so cute. She loves laying underneath this Christmas tree. All right, guys, so let's get into how I decorated my home this year for Christmas. My husband helped me a lot as well. So I'll show you guys some of the ideas that he had. And this is our first home that we got to decorate ourselves. And I'm really excited to show you guys what we've done this year. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you guys what the outside looks like. These lights here are here all the time. They're just kind of like little lantern lights. But this is our little candy cane setup. And then we've added lights to the bushes. And we have a projector over there. And it's a snowflake projection. So that is what we have going on in the front garden. So not too much, but a little bit. And we really liked adding the lights. I love outdoor lights. It was the first time ever that I've had outdoor lights. Okay, so here is the wreath. It's hard to see because it's so dark outside, but it's the one that I showed in my, I think it was a Michaels haul. It's the very green and white glittery wreath. Okay, so when you walk inside, this is what it looks like. Hi Lexi, it's okay. And right to my right, when you first walk in, we have this little shelf next to the door and we have a little Santa holding a little lantern and then my owl has a little Santa hat on it. So then we put some tinsel around the door. I just don't mind that over there. <laughs> and then we have home is where the heart is, which I just think is so cute. We have it hanging just above our door. And then I have one of these wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I think I have the apple toady or the spiced apple or something in there. I'm not really sure which one it is. Okay, so this is a work in progress. These are like double French doors and we're making it look like, kind of like a present. I think this side is done. So we have the two strips of ribbon here with the little bow and then we just need to add another strip here. And then we've also hung up a ornament garland which I got at Bell's, I believe. And then we have that holly garland up top, which I believe I got at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure which one. I have to show you guys my bathroom. I am so excited and I know it's just a bathroom, but guys, wait till you see this. It, it's like literally festive, very festive. Look at it. So we have got the most Christmassy shower curtain you have ever seen. So it says Merry Christmas, presents, jolly, holiday, snow, winter with snowflakes all in red and green, which I adore. I have this little tea towel here. I loved it. I thought the moon was really pretty with Santa Claus and his reindeer and then just the little house and the snow and everything. This shower curtain I mentioned in a haul, it did come with these rugs. I got it at Bell's. It's the noodle rugs. They're amazing. I love noodle rugs. So over here on the basket, we just have our little Lush bath bombs. I did a Lush haul earlier, a couple days ago, so I've used the Luxury Lush Pud, but these are the four that I have left, which I'm excited to use. Over here, this is actually a fall poopery, poop, poopery, poppery. <laughs> and then I have this Merry Christmas with the, and a bobby pin, a Merry Christmas North Pole little tea towel to dry your hands. 
and then the winter gentle foaming soap from Bath and Body Works and then just two little kind of arrangements that kind of made the area look a little bit nicer and then this is from Bath and Body Works but I don't have a scent in it just because there's so many different ones around the house so that is this bathroom and yes I'm in my cozy loungewear because it is later at night so <laughs> this is the overall look of what the bathroom looks like away from the bathroom you guys have seen this a million times if you are subscribe to my channel if you are new this is actually where I film I sit right in front of this on the floor and I got this tree at Hobby Lobby and then I also decorated it with little pics from Hobby Lobby and twinkling lights this is tis the season by Bath and Body Works candle and the snowman holder is also maybe from Bath and Body Works or it's from Kohl's from a couple years ago and then of course the owl with his winter scarf and his little Santa hat oh and this scarf actually I used for fall too in my backgrounds to cover up it's actually a little treasure chest under here that we have a bunch of stuff in but yeah that's a little blanket scarf from Hobby Lobby and then I've got I mean it's not really Christmassy but I might as well mention all my little Harry Potter stuff over here which I'm sure you guys can see in the videos okay so the fireplace I have three different little well actually they're all the same but three different sizes of these little holly goblets I really loved that the base here is like twisted so I got those at Bell's, I think. And then I also have a garland up here and it's a really delicate, pretty garland with little pine cones and what else does it have on it? Pieces of Christmas tree and some ribbons. And I intertwined both white fairy lights and also multicolored lights that you can see the little hints of blue, red, and yellow down here. I also have these little stocking hangers or holders. I have one that has the bear on it. I think I got these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one or the other. I think it was Hobby Lobby. All of these, well, most of these items I've already mentioned in previous hauls, but that's where I think I got those. And then just the love letters I have lit up back here. This is a very old Santa. I can't get him open, but my husband knows how to get him open, but he sings and he's so cute and very, very beautiful. He's very old, love him. Over here, we have one of my favorite items of this year, and it's this Santa Claus checking off his list that I got at Hobby Lobby, and then also this really beautiful pocket watch. No, not a pocket watch, but it's, a, it's big. It's actually like the size of my hand, but it is so beautiful. And when you open it, it sings. I'll sing it for you. Well, it'll sing. Here it goes. How cute is that? So that is that little area. And then we have our little owl family at the base of the fireplace. So now I'm gonna step back and show you guys the fireplace and what it looks like. Those stockings I also got from Walmart, except for the little kitty one. This is what the fireplace looks like when most of the lights are off. I just think it is so cozy. I love twinkling lights and warm lights and the fireplace with the stockings. It's just so magical and really cozy. So moving on to the tree. This is a nine foot tall artificial Christmas tree and my parents actually found it for us at a yard sale, I believe. But let me just tell you, I'm gonna sit down and tell you a little story about this tree. Okay, so this tree behind me, my parents got it at a yard sale. It was already pre-lit, which was great. So my husband and I go to set it up. And like I said, this is a nine foot tall Christmas tree. We go to set it up and some of the lights work, some of them don't. And because it was pre-lit, literally the, the lights were clipped into the tree and then zip tied into the tree. We had, I shouldn't say we, my poor husband, he literally had to cut out every single zip tie, every single light, every single clip out of the tree. It probably took us a week to get this tree up. Then we go and buy lights for it. Well, then we wanted multicolor and white lights because he loves multicolor, I love white lights, but then I also like both. So we used, sorry, I'm like swaying because I'm holding this. Um, we used both and then we had too many lights on the tree so we blew a fuse so all the lights went out 
and he had to cut the lights off again and then finally a miracle happened and boom we have a beautiful very big Christmas tree that I absolutely love so I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up and show you a few of the little ornaments that I have on there that are quite special so we have the little presents wrapped underneath I have started wrapping and then here we go I'll do kind of like a slow view Okay, so we have a Santa Claus ornament up here, which I love. I wanted to make him kind of higher up on the tree, kind of facing the front door so people see him right when you walk in. Next, I have this really pretty Merry Christmas glitter ornament. I have got these ornaments from everywhere. There is no um, like theme to this tree. This is just kind of like everything that we have and we put it on the tree. Next is a little Hogwarts Express ornament right here, which I love. Here we have the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle ornament. Love that one, of course. This one is a little Lexi Kitty ornament, and then you'll see little candy canes throughout the, uh, throughout the store, <laughs> throughout the tree, and my parents' tree when I was growing up, when I was a kid, we always had candy canes on the tree. And what I used to do with them is like running out to, you know, go to the bus to get to school. I would take a candy cane off the tree and then eat it on my way to school. So it's tradition to always have candy canes on the tree. So that is what I did. This ornament is so delicate and beautiful. It's actually a glass ornament with little snowflakes on it. But inside, if you can see, if it focuses, is a little fox looking up at some birds that are sitting on a pine tree. It's not really focusing that well, but. Then we have down here a little cardinal ornament. And then, what else do we have that's special? Oh, guess who it is? It's Belle and Beast. So we have them over there. We have a cute little Harry Potter ornament over here. And then, I believe there's another one. Yes, right here. So that is, you know, the tree, guys. Love it, I'm so happy with it. Moving over to this coffee table area, we have some books which my husband bought for me this year. I got these on eBay. This one is actually a very old, it's the Fireside Book of Christmas Stories. This book is from 1945, which I just think is adorable. This book, Santa Claus Gifts. Now this is a very, as you can see, very old book. I can't figure out what year this is from, but I do know it is from the 1800s. Next, I have a little Merry Christmas kind of plaque sitting there, and then I have my little woodland animals here. I have a fox, I got him a couple years ago from Cracker Barrel, and then I have just a little bird with some white pine cones. Two little owls, I don't remember where I got these two. I have a Let It Snow peppermint candle from Bath & Body Works a nutcracker that says 59 days till Christmas. That is so wrong. And there is 12 days till Christmas. No, no, 13. And then I have another winter potpourri and then I have my little Lumiere and then another nutcracker and then this little book, which actually is not a book, but it looks like a book. It's actually empty so you can put remotes in it or whatever you want. Here I have a fresh balsam candle with a little holder that has deer on it and pine trees. The couch I left kind of plain and I just have those really nice cushions that I picked out at Bell's. They're a really soft red with a really pretty fur. And then I've got this little Christmas village cushion and then I have another red cushion and then over here I have my Hogwarts Express nine and three quarters cushion with a very fluffy pillow and then I have my little reindeer. He's so cute. I got him at Walmart last year. On this little table I have the most beautiful lantern I have ever seen. It is white and then inside you have a little fox and then a little owl. Actually there's two owls in there I believe. Three owls sitting on a tree and then inside our little silver and gold little specks. I thought that was really pretty. That I believe I got at Hobby Lobby. Then over here, I have another little globe and it's got two owls sitting on some wood and some pines with little holly. And then I have this cute little squirrel. I've got some Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans, a little Christmas aerobics cube, and then another matching book that I had on the coffee table. 
On this wall over here, I just have a little image of Santa sitting by a fireplace in the Christmas tree, unpacking his sack to put the Christmas gifts underneath the tree. I got that at Kohl's last year. And then here I have a snowman wallflower from Bath and Body Works, and in it I have twisted peppermint, which smells amazing. Up here, this was probably one of my most favorite things. This garland I got from Hobby Lobby, my husband hung it up here so it goes towards the Christmas tree. And there you have Santa and his reindeer flying in. Rudolph in the front has his red nose. And then my husband added a little Santa Claus to put in the sleigh. I love it. It is so cute. On this table back here we have our little winter polar bear, penguin, and owl from Michael's, I think. And then we have this beautiful Santa Claus with his reindeer, which I believe I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm starting to forget things, so if I'm getting wrong, if I get them wrong, I apologize. I also have my chocolate frog, which my mom surprised me with the last time we went to Universal, which is on Vlogmas. It's not, it wasn't Vlogmas. It was just a Christmas upload, but it was a vlog for day one. And then also my mom got me this, and it's the Hogwarts castle. I just think it is so darn beautiful. And then we just have another little Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby. I put multicolored lights on it and a few little ornaments. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, up here on the wall, right there, we have a very beachy themed image or a big picture. And I didn't want a beachy themed picture, so we actually wrapped it with gift wrap, put a bow on it and some ribbon, and there you have it. It is now a Christmas big package present. So moving on to the kitchen, we have the kitchen table, which has really pretty placemats on it, which I got a couple of years ago. And then this centerpiece I picked out at Kohl's with a few candles. Over here we have a little tray, it has holly on it, and on each little plate there is a few little assortments of candy. We have a little Christmas train with a little Santa Claus and we put our mail in it. And then my husband made this. He got a little styrofoam tree shape and then used toothpicks and stuck candy to it. Then we have a jar or a vase with poinsettias in it. Baby, it's cold outside, warm me up with a sweet apple toddy candle and then Santa Claus in a rather fine sports car. <laughs> and then over here we just have some fairy lights behind the wall. Here's my little owl teapot with little matching mugs. And then I have my little Starbucks arrangement and then my peppermint coffee and my adorable new mugs that I just love. And then, here we have my favorite, a tree for the kitchen, which I love. It is so nice. I'll show you with the lights off. It is so nice to come in here early in the mornings, make myself a cup of coffee, and walk in and turn this on. It is just so beautiful. It's a very red, white, and silver theme. So that is my Christmas home tour for this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Good night. Bye.